Firefighters are still in shock after a shark attack sent one person to the hospital on the 4th of July and more were spotted in the waters near the beach. There are more questions about why we are seeing shark attacks in Texas. So News 10's Jessica Rajkumar spoke to a local expert from Cameron Park Zoo who says that it may be one shark responsible for all the incidents. On July 4th, multiple shark attacks were reported on South Padre Island, and while it might seem strange to see sharks in that area, there are 40 species that are native to Texas waters. And some of them do have migratory routes that are seasonal, uh, but we also do have a lot of resident sharks that are here, bull sharks, sometimes tiger sharks, and then uh, sometimes black tips or white tip sharks. Cameron Park Zoo's general curator Gordon Henley explains that since they have poor vision, sharks rely on the Earth's magnetic field to navigate the waters and can easily mistake a human for prey. Misidentification or of, of what the food is so that a lot of times they'll bite see what it is since they don't really have hands to feel around they that's how they test and see what it is and then uh, realize it's not food and so they leave it and then swim off. Henley believes that the crowds at the beach may have confused the shark of what is food and what is not. An increased number of people it just the availability of an accident has gone up as well. And says that a single shark may be the cause of all these attacks. The ones at South Padre Island are probably the result of a single animal that is just kind of acting as a rogue. They're incidental uh, attacks, uh, so the shark is actually just biting them, realizing they're not food, and then letting them go. Henley notes that in Texas, shark attacks are very rare since only 10 people have been attacked in the state since 2012, and advises beachgoers to listen to local authorities on when to go in the water. I guarantee that there are people actively going down there seeing if they can find the shark. Um, what the future holds there, you know, has yet to be seen. Reporting in Waco, Jessica Rajkumar, KWTX News 10.